the wannabe rapper. You know exactly who I'm talking about. The dude that thinks he's two rhymes away from being the next Drake, but in reality, he's just two friends away from getting blocked. <laughs> And look, cause you wanna be like Drake. First off, this man cannot stop rapping. You're chilling, just trying to play some games or have a combo. And here he comes, hitting you with bars nobody asked for. Like, yo, man, them in the crib. My uncle's brown, he's a big man called Sakib. What? And he always does that thing where he looks at you and waits for you to react after he says a bar. Staring at you like he's gonna spit a bar that's gonna change the whole world. That's gonna change rap history. If I wanted to listen to bad freestyle, I'd go through SoundCloud at 3 a.m. Not like it's a difference. Oh, but it doesn't stop there. Oh no. He'll hit you with the. Hey, tell me what you think of this verse, fam. A lie? So he's trying to be nice and you're like, yeah, it's cool, bro, but uh, work on your lyrics and your flow a bit more. And this guy's like. <laughs> Oh, are you dumb fam? Bro, you man don't get this. Y'all just don't understand real music, bro. Yeah, we don't understand your music because it's bad, my guy. Oh no, but you can't really say that out loud, can you? Unless if you want to be the villain in this next bar. Fake friends doubted me. They clouted me. All right, all right, all right, shut the fuck up. You're not Shakespeare. Nigga, Mozart can rap better than your dumb ass. And then there's the best part. He wants to be a rapper so bad, but doesn't know what copyright is. He'll rap over any beat. Kanye, the SpongeBob theme, Trippy Red, like he's immune to lawsuit. Yo, check out my new track. I used that new Ken Carson beat. You know what man's saying? Yeah, how about you take that balaclava off your face and get a fucking job? You fucker. Yeah, yeah, use Ken Carson's beat. Because <laughs> Ken Carson's lawyers are about to use your bank account as a dartboard. And he goes, no, nah, it's just a sample, bro. No, you're about to be a sample in a courtroom example. The sensitive friend. I don't really hate this friend because I feel like they've been through so much where everything just hurts them. And they definitely have some trauma up their sleeves. But that can't excuse how they react to when you don't want to go outside with them. You text them with a casual, no, nah, I can't come outside tonight, bro. Sorry, I'm tired. And suddenly, you're, you're, you're a super villain to them. Uh, hey, I, I just feel like, bro, if the first words are, I just feel like you already know you're in for a guilt trip longer than a CVS receipt. And the message will be like this. Hey, I, I just feel like you've been so distant lately. Uh, it, it's making me question if you even value this friendship. I'm, I'm not trying to be rude, but maybe we weren't proper friends to begin with. Uh, oh, fuck. I will eat your fucking ass. Consensually. Chill out. I'm not ghosting you. I'm just tired from living life out here. <laughs> hey, hey, it's me, Goku. And God forbid you crack a joke. You could say something harmless like, yo, you're slow at this game. And they're suddenly holding a full on intervention. Well, so that's how you see me? Uh, 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 I didn't know you had these feet. Nigga, it was a joke. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. It was a god fucking joke. And when you can see they're upset, I could be like, hey, what's wrong, bro? And they could be like, mm, nothing. Uh, I just feel like here's some genuine advice for you. Not everybody is trying to attack you. Not everybody is your enemy. You can trust some people. And some people are generally busy like myself, okay? There are many times where I'm actually busy and the friend would just, just take it to heart. And it's like, dude, if I'm not busy, how can I do anything in life? Maybe you should try to do something in life instead of just... Crawling up my ass all the time. The vapor. <sighs> oh. Let's talk about this friend. The vapor, you know the one. He's chill. Might even be the coolest guy in your friend group. But bro, his vape addiction, it's tragic. It's like watching someone you respect turn into a human fog machine. Like this guy will show up to every link up, leaning back, acting like he's the coolest in the group, right? And you're thinking, yo, this nigga is so cool. But nah, you turn your head for two seconds and <laughs> oh. This vape is so fucking good. Oh. He's blowing out a cloud big enough to make you think Scissor's about to walk out singing. All oh, the fumes, I know. I'm telling you, if I see Scissor react to this, we all know it's true. And they're always tired and always complaining and they're so lazy. Like they could generally be chilling in bed for five hours every day doing nothing. And I could be honest and say, yo, why are you chilling? They could be like, they could be like this little with their skinny ass legs. Like, hey man, I'm just chilling. You know what I'm saying, man. Some real nigga shit though, I'm chilling. Y'all niggas know what I'm saying, bro. But do your thing though, do your thing. Nigga. You're not doing any things. 
You freak. He really has the audacity to say, man, I'm tired. Like you've been pulling shifts at the coal mine. Nah, fam. You've been vaping blueberry ice all day. All right, let me get that crystal vape. Oh, that lost Mary. Oh, oh I'm so hard. All right, I know how to get bitches. Yeah. Pull up the man MC. I'm going to rap because I'm dumb and I don't got no friends with me because I'm rapping. My name is P. You're sick. Don't clip this. Hey, man, I love you so much. And you're a really good friend to me. All my friends that vape are really cool. And I love you, but please, please put the vape down. I know life may seem hard and maybe your parents don't understand you. So that could just leave you to go outside and spend time with people that you feel like are close to you. But just because people are close to you doesn't mean you should take everything they should give to you. A lot of friends I know, they're the coolest people, but they do the worst things. And you need to know how to set boundaries, vapor friend. You need to know how to not get influenced by other people's actions and have a mind for your own because you're being a slave to that vape. You really are. Every puff you take, you're killing yourself. You're killing yourself. And that's not good. You want to thrive, especially there's one of my friends out there. You want to be a rapper. Hey, I'm speaking directly to you, man. You want to thrive. You want to do music. You want to be a YouTuber. Put the vape down, man. Put it down. Let go and start a new life. You, that's the first step, honestly. If you want to be rich and famous, but you can't even put down a vape, then your life values are fucked up, man. And I just wish the best for you. So please put the vape down. I know you're not smoking it to seem cool. I know you're not smoking it so you can feel involved with people. You're smoking it because there's a deep sadness inside of you and you feel like that's the only thing that can, can make you happy. And now it's become a lifestyle. So put the vape down. Don't be like everybody else and vape. Stay different. Stay different. The instigator. These friends are the type to sit back with a smirk while everybody is fighting. This nigga would smile at my mom's funeral. <laughs> they start every fight without touching anybody and they do it because they're bored, man. They've got nothing going on at home except tension and arguments over who left the fridge open. And you know what's funny, yeah? I feel like the instigators should get beat the hell up instead of your enemy because they're the one that started the problem itself and everybody knows that so next time if you have an instigator starting arguments push that nigga. you could be having the most peaceful day and here comes mr instigator like hey yo hey did you hear what so and so said about you fam nah bro the whole vibe is off bro a man said you're sad eyeing people for no reason fam that's a bit mad and now 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 you feel uneasy because he said that and then you're side eyeing people for no reason and you know what's funny the instigator always chat shit about their own friends in the friend group so it's like nigga is this murder mystery i don't want to be looking over my shoulder next to my own brethren the instigator is always worse than the problem itself there could be the smallest misunderstanding i could be helping a grandma cross the street and she could pat me and say thank you but stay off the sweets honey <laughs> you're so charming he'd be like hey i wouldn't have that tommy she didn't call you handsome she said you're charming that's a violation bruv Man don't like that ting when I get and I get that man man ting if I not get that and I swear and he starts rapping like his fucking fucking smart whip galaxy gas cocaine nigga does fucking monkey man now everybody's on edge and this dude is in the corner acting like blue rye with the commentary watching the drama unfold and adding side comments like oh nah that's wild bro go home why are you here causing chaos for sport now this is a bonus round this is the most toxic friend ever this friend deserves to to die Die. We have the menace. Yo, this is a true story. So we're going to call this guy Clayton. Me and Clayton used to be the best of friends until he did something fucking insane. Whew! So this nigga would go around getting random girls pregnant and blocking them on social media after. And then after that nigga, he would show me them sending his ass money and you know what's funny bro this nigga moved all the way to romania and i never heard of him again and i still don't know where he is